What's going on guys? Dan coming at you from the garage gym today. Um, just thought I'd do a quick review on a new piece that I just picked up uh, over the weekend. So you can see this bad boy here. I'll post a couple of attachment photos from the other models, but basically this is um, what's called a six pack style functional trainer. Um, biggest uh, differences that you'll see between it and a normal functional trainer, as you can see here, let me just spin this around. With a, with a six pack functional trainer, rather than simply having uh, you know, all separate uh, individual holes that you can move up and down with, the, the six pack functional trainer actually just has three handles on each side that are in a fixed position. Um, what this basically allows it to do, I believe, is make a more compact unit. So unlike most functional trainers, which is generally take up uh, either a very wide area um, that would be about the same width as my secondary garage door in the case of a cable crossover or a, a corner functional trainer, they would actually take up an entire corner. So what they do is they have a centralized stack in the middle. In this case, it's a 100 kilo plate stack that you can see. Um, and they put two posts either side of it. Um, I'll just come in here and hopefully be able to give you a look at the setup. Now, it looks very, very busy uh, at the back, but uh, a rule that you can see with functional trainers or with any kind of cable machine in general is that how much resistance you get depends on how many moving pulleys you have. So if I pull the middle handle, you can see here, there's only actually one moving pulley. The pulleys at the top are not moving and the pulleys at the bottom are not moving either. Now that's the same irrespective of which handle you grab on this unit which means it's a two to one unit so even though it says you know 100 kilos uh, basically every handle could be maximally loaded to 50 kilos on a given handle. Um, so that's something to keep in mind is that the stack is you know if, if I do double hand work I am actually lifting up 100 kilos, and if I do single handle, then it's, uh, then it's 50 kilos. So you've got to take that into account. I'll show you how the chair adjusts, and uh, then we'll do some exercise demos, and I'll talk about what I think of the chair. Righto, guys, so the chair has three adjustment positions. You can either face it forward, pull out a pin here, and it can go down like that to turn into a flat bench. Now there's another pin here where you can spin this around and face forward to the machine. And there's also another pin here where you can pull this and actually rotate the whole unit completely out of the way if you want to do some standing work. Alright guys, you can see it here in the folded position. Hitch pin whereby the chair can just spin out of the way on a bearing. And two foot plates there if you want to face the unit. And again, a nice big open footprint. Come right back here. You can see it actually doesn't take up a great deal of space. And we'll talk about um, why I chose that particular unit. As you can see, the gym is getting, uh, I won't say packed, but it is certainly, I feel, starting to get pretty well equipped. And I do have... I've already done a video on it, the Barbarian Line High-Low Row. That particular unit is a 1 to 1 ratio, uh, and it actually has a 125 kilo stack as well. So I'll talk about some comparisons as well. Okay guys, um, I'm just going to run through a few exercise demos to give you an idea of the capabilities of the machine. So as you can see here, you can move the chair or do things seated. Uh, it's good for tricep extensions. Um, you can set it up for virtually any kind of pulling movement. Here I'm just uh, you know, going through the motion of like a single arm uh, lat pull down. That one I don't actually recommend. Your lats are very strong and given the half load, that's only a 50 kilo uh, pull load. So I'd definitely stick to a dedicated uh, lat pull down for, for uh, single arm work. This double hand is okay. Now uh, this version Alan Crest likes to demo for people as a way of really targeting the lats and not so much the uh, the traps and the terrors major and minor uh, in the upper back. Um, here's one of the main exercises uh, which I actually bought it for is things like uh, you know fa facing away uh, bicep curls. Um, one of the limitations that I don't like about having um, mostly dumbbells is the uh, is the uneven 
uh, resistance profile when performing a lot of exercises. So um, as I get more into bodybuilding, I mean, obviously load is load, and this is all just adding, uh, you know, one or two percent more efficiency and a little bit more variety. But being able to move around and do these kinds of exercises, where I can, in this case, overload the uh, the short head uh, portion. So in this kind of curl, all of the weight is concentrated at the top versus the uh, the facing away version that I showed you earlier where most of the stretch and load is in the stretched position um, and then ideally for hypertrophy you should be stressing the muscle throughout its entire contractile range so while you know I am a big barbell and dumbbell guy um, this is just adding another string to the bow in terms of what I can do um, again one of my favorites that I've gone for is things like cable presses and in particular cable flies. Um, dumbbell flies actually hurt my shoulder uh, due to an impingement that I've got. So this is actually one thing that I intend to be doing quite a bit on this machine is the uh, is the cable flies. And again, a weakness of the dumbbell flies that there's there's virtually all the load is at the bottom and there's almost nothing, uh, no load felt at the top. And then the same for things like you know uh, dumbbell lateral raises for your shoulders. There's just another angle. Uh, to give you an idea of the length of pull of the cable or, or the angle of pull of the cable sorry again another one of my favorites and, and the big advantage of having this sole system even though it is not a true uh, corner system the handles aren't that far apart as you can see with like a rear delt cable crossover i am actually able to load um, the head of the anterior delts and even the lateral delts throughout the entire range of motion. If I was doing this with a dumbbell at the moment, uh, you'd find a massive amount of load at the top and virtually no load at the bottom, whereas the cables allow me to load that throughout the entire range of motion. So much better alternative. Righto, um, so guys, final thoughts. Um, look, for what I paid, I'm actually really, really happy with the purchase. Um, I won't go into a huge amount of detail other than to say the um, this machine, while it is a clone of the Tough Stuff six pack trainer, um, it is built every bit as sturdy as the Tough Stuff. I have used the Tough Stuff trainer uh, previously. The Tough Stuff chair is a little bit better than this chair. I mean, you can see this chair here uh, does have a bit of wobble in it. Um, I believe that's intentional, actually, as you can see on the previous videos when you reach behind yourself uh, to try to get to the cables, that's actually required, uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have the range of motion to to grab these when I'm facing away from them. Um, look, in terms of build quality, I would probably give it a 7 out of 10. Um, and that's not to say anything negative. The, the welds are very, very good. Um, I'll, hopefully, I've included some pictures of the welds. Um, it's very sturdy. It's very solid. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's going to tip over despite its narrow stance. Um, so its build quality is really very good and I'm sure brand new it would have looked even nicer. This unit I got, I got off uh, of uh, Gumtree which is an Australian version of the website Craigslist. So it is a little bit older um, but the cable poly motion is extremely smooth um, and it works very very well from old positions as you can see by the demo exercises. The reason I don't give it a 10 out of 10 um, is because I do feel that with this design um, certain things could be slightly improved. So they're all plastic uh, bearings uh, and pulleys in here. Um, aluminium pulleys and bearings would have knocked it up to an eight or a nine. Um, but again, the level of quality of finish, is that necessary? Absolutely not. Um, now, brand new, I believe in the States, for those of you that are watching this uh, from America, the Tough Stuff variant, I believe is about three and a half or 4,000 uh, US dollars. Whether or not that's appropriate for you, I'm not sure. Um, as you can see from my setup and in the, in the intro video, I, I currently have a power rack, I've got a leg press, I've got a hack squat, and I have a one-to-one -one unit uh, high-low pulley. Um, I would say my final thoughts is I would definitely not get this ahead of getting a high and low pulley. Um, for a couple of reasons. One, if you pick a good high and low pulley, you can find a one-to-one -one ratio, which means you're using every bit of that weight that you need to. Um, a limitation that this unit has is that the stack only goes up to 100 kilos or 220 pounds. Um, and given that there's no, even though there's foot placings, there's no actual uh, pad 
to go over your waist in order to hold you down. And if you're a semi-strong or semi-big guy, 100 kilos or 220 pounds on a plate stack for a double arm like pull down is actually not that much weight. Um, so I would definitely say that get a high and low pulley first before you consider any kind of functional trainer for that matter, because uh, most functional trainers are a two to one or even in some cases a four to one ratio. Um, let's stay away from those. So prioritize a good lap pull down first um, with a one to one ratio, because out of that, you can do all of your heavy vertical pulling, you can do all of your heavy horizontal pulling for the rows, and then you can actually do, you know, putting a chain on it, uh, double arm, tricep extensions, you can use the low pulley for bicep curls. Um, the real advantage of going to a functional trainer and the reason that I bought this unit is because with a single cable uh, high and low pulley, you cannot do cable crossovers. Um, you cannot do things like uh, cable based uh, chest work. Um, it's very hard to do lat pull downs with most high and low pulleys because they don't have the swivel mechanism. Um, most of them are just single plane, uh, where your shoulders make the cable swivel throughout its range of motion. Um, so I personally bought this unit specifically because I wanted to be able to do alternating or individual bicep and tricep work and alternating or individual um, medial and rear deltoids, which is uh, the majority of the exercises I posted. So as far as being something you would use for delts and arm work, this machine is absolutely fantastic and I'm very happy that I bought it. Um, would I buy it full price brand new? Uh, I think I would, but as I said, I would not get it before getting a, a proper one-to-one -one ratio high low pulley. So that would be, a, to me, it's more order of preference than whether or not cost is worth. It's definitely worth the cost uh, to me. Um, but it is down on the list in order of priority. So, you know, normal things, get your barbell and plates first, get your squat rack first. Um, you can do everything you need with just a barbell and plates and a squat rack. Then you've got, you know, I added dumbbells after that. And then I, once I had all of that, then I was starting to look at machines, um, cheap and effective machines for multi purposes, um, a, a landmine for T-bar rows and, and shoulder individual work. Awesomely cheap, very versatile. Um, then I wanted something to be able to do besides just squatting and squat variations. That's when the hack squat uh, leg press came in. Um, and then an attachment from the bench for leg curl leg extension. So look, in, in, in terms of where this goes on the list, for me, it's sort of the, the, the seventh, um, probably you know, between five and, and eighth uh, on your list in order of priority. So absolutely happy with the build. Absolutely happy with the form and function. Value for me was phenomenal, but I was lucky enough to find this on Craigslist at, at a gum tree at a very, very reasonable price. Um, I would still pay full price for it, uh, brand new, if I had no other option. Um, I guess the big question is, do I feel it is better than getting a, 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 a corner style functional trainer? Um, and honestly, for a garage, I would probably say yes, depending on what your space constraints are. Um, you, I do still have the ability to park a car um, within this garage. Some guys who go more to the body building style gyms, and, and my garage, which started out as a powerlifting gym and CrossFit gym, is transitioning more to a bodybuilding style gym uh, as I get older. Um, but I still need to be able to park the car. So for me, I would actually take this um, over a proper corner-based uh, functional trainer simply because it takes up so much, it basically takes up half the footprint um, of a proper functional trainer. It's, it's plate loaded um, and it's almost, it, it takes up the same amount of space as a single column, uh, but it does give you the versatility there to do crossover style work. So look, really happy with the purchase. Um, for yourself, I'd, I'd say give it strong consideration. If you're in the market where You've already got you know, all of your big items, your squat bench deadlift sorted, and you've got your dumbbells, but whether they be an individual set or power blocks. Um, once you start looking at machines, um, yeah, uh, my top two machines, bodybuilding machines, I would say, is get a leg press hack, um, and then worry about a high-low pulley. 
um, and then, then you can start looking at stuff like this. And as far as functional trainers go, I think it's really worth consideration. All right, I'll uh, leave it there, guys, and I'll waffle on a little bit. So thanks for your time, and I hope that you've enjoyed the video. See ya.